They say still waters run deep, but not here. After two months of virtually no rain in Malaysia, this reservoir, just north of the capital, is barely half full. There's only enough water in it for another two and a half months. It's the same story across the Kuala Lumpur area. All the reservoirs are at low levels, and that's meant water rationing for the first time since 1998. No water for two days. Water is being cut off every two days for more than three and a half million people around Kuala Lumpur. If people don't store water beforehand, there's no way to wash dishes, clothes or themselves. Villagers in Belakong were the first to get cut off in February, with some houses without water for 18 days. Not only before, but even now, people are wasting water. We have to conserve water for health emergencies. In places where a continuous water supply is needed, like hospitals, water companies use tankers to keep their water levels up. Malaysians are the heaviest users of water in Southeast Asia at around 214 litres a day, compared to Thailand at 90 litres per person per day and Singapore at 160 litres. But with rainfall totals so far this year down 75%, attitudes must change. That's not easy in a country used to a rainfall average of 2,500 millimetres a year. And the low cost of water here does nothing to encourage conservative usage. If you look at the current uh, dry season, this is not something new in Malaysia. This is a normal dry season and you're already entering a quite severe shortage uh, throughout the country. And this is uh, a wake-up call, I would say. The weather is changing from a northeast to a southwest monsoon. So more rain should fall on peninsular Malaysia. But many more days of heavy rain are needed if the reservoirs are to refill to healthy levels and the water supply to return to normal. Stephanie Scowan, Al Jazeera, Kuala Lumpur.